you my jacket up? Yep. No, you're not very good at it, are you? Yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> banging helmets. Just remember when you take your helmet off, you've got bloody hell, why is everything so tight on you? I don't believe how tight it's everything is. It's because I don't want is. it blowing as I'm in the wind. Yeah. There you go, don't even notice. I've got to do that. What do you want me to do? Turn it inside out like that? That's nice. That's it. Look like proper now. Morning, everybody. And today we're, um, we're going off to have a look at a castle, aren't we, Liz? And then we're going to our digs in a place called Moffat, Moffat, um, via a couple of other routes. I can hear you too. Yeah, via a couple of other routes and uh, yeah, that's it really. The weather, well, the weather is beautiful this morning. Oh. And going on an adventure. Well, they can't see me because I've got my camera pointed in front, so um, all they're going to do is hear me. <laughs> You're pushing me into the rocks. <laughs> so this was our beautiful... Um, well, the fish down now. This was our beautiful stay for two nights. The Inn on the Loch and honestly good value very very good value i think we stayed in a beautiful cabin very well done up must say they're not all as new as this one but um let's see you're wearing your bobhead gloves it's a tiny little fly <laughs> look at that oh yes can she do it can see you've done that sort of thing before. Bob it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready for a fight. Right, should we get off? Fucking roll, baby. Give it a slap. Right, see you later. See you. See you on the road, guys.
That's cool. Caleverock Castle is a multi triangular castle first built in the 13th century. It is located on the southern coast of Scotland, 11 kilometres, 7 miles south of Dumfries, which is now at the edge of Caleverock National Nature Reserve. The present castle was preceded by several fortifications in the area. A Roman fort on Wardlaw Hill and a British hill fort that was in use around the year 950 AD. In July 1300 AD, King Edward I of England marched north with an army including 87 of the barons of England. The Maxwells, under their chief, Sir Eustace Maxwell, mounted a vigorous defence of the castle which repelled the English several times. In the end, the garrison was compelled to surrender, after which it was found that only 60 men had withstood the whole might of the English army for some considerable period. So Lizzie spotted the Highland cows. I can't, there's a bell boy there. Alright. So there they are, there's the Highland cows. Ooh. That's our first sighting of Highland yeah. cows. Uh, unfortunately, they're walking away. They don't talk to me. No. Right, we're off to Moffat now. So. Ooh. That was a loud sigh, darling. What did you think of the castle? Um, lovely. <laughs> it is a shame lovely. that it is a shame that when you uh, when you got your bikes loaded up, you can't both go and look at the same things. It's quite frustrating. Mm -hmm. Oh, would help if I had my keys. Hmm. Mm. Yes, that would be a big help. Where are they? Midges, <laughs> hundreds of them. <laughs> down. Uh. Well, we've had to pull over in the pissing rain. Um, yeah. Our first little downpour. Everything on the back of the bikes is soaking wet that I put on now. Yeah.
So this is our accommodation for a couple of nights. Look at that church. Um, oh, and then this is... Ah, there's another door. Shower. Perfect. Place to stash things. Yes, a bull on the wall. Or a cow. Yep. Who are you? Hey. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? It's lush, isn't it, eh? Right, we're getting out of here. We need to go and have some food, so let's uh Turn the tilly off. Mm. We're both tired. We got a little wet today, didn't we, Liz? Yeah. The perils of uh, riding in the countryside. Look at that church. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit tired. It's yeah. um, nothing to do with the riding. It's actually just me. I think just all creeping up on me with my um, my chronic fatigue. <laughs> yeah. It does get very tiring doing this. I'm starting to feel a bit tired as well. So we're spending a few days here anyway, in the lovely Scottish um, town of Moffat. Moffat. I used to go to school with um, two girls called Moffat. Is their surname? And they're a little Miss Moffat. <laughs> Sit on a top of Yeah. Thank you. It's a lovely town. When we rode through it earlier, I thought, oh, yeah. Spa! A little chocolate bar from Spa. Liz is going to get a chocolate bar from Spa. Munchies. Munchies, munchies. Ooh. Shoot, what's that? Tapas bar. Yeah, but she said, um, Oh yes, Lizzie. <laughs> I like them. Yeah, I like them. They keep you really cool, don't they? The Balmoral. The Balmoral. Balmoral Hotel. No, didn't they say the Annandale? Is Scotland, it? yeah. Yep. Take a picture of that and I'll read over it. I see somebody with a takeaway bag. We both fancy a Chinese. Where'd you get a takeaway Chinese? Yeah, we've got no plates, we've got no forks, we've got nothing. Oh, I ain't getting all that. That is very cool. Chinese takeaway. Mm. We can't be bothered to pay 50 or 60 quid for a meal. Hey, so we come in oh, here. Yeah, yeah, look. Mm. Kind of a lot better, yeah, Chen Wok it's called in Moffit. In Moffit. We've gone really healthy tonight. What, uh, why did you make me buy this? Oh. They're nice. Mm. What are you eating? 
mini vegetables. Right. 